Well, here's an exciting video. Today I get to change the uh, filters on the reverse osmosis water filtration system. This is just a little home system I put in a couple of years ago. And uh, it's been working great. Uh, my goal was to take out the, the chlorine taste and uh, cut out some of the fluoride they put in the water around here. We actually have very good water. It's on a county well. And I tested the, uh, the water with a little meter and it comes up as a 75, uh, I guess that's called turbidity, turbidity or something like that. And after I installed this, the, the number went down to 5, so it's really taken a whack out of that and removed the chlorine smell that we had in our water. So this little system here is from Apec Water Purification. They're online, they're still available. And I've had no issues with it, it's a good little system. This one has 5 filters, I believe. And today I'm changing the filters on the three lower ones and the other ones aren't due for another two years. So and there's my little five gallon I believe pressure tank. Anyway I cracked open this filter here and just want to show you the difference. Even though we have clean water after 12 months this is the filter that came out of it. It's brown and nasty. The water that was inside there was just disgusting. And this is the brand new filter for comparisons going in today. So in 12 months, even with really pretty clean water, uh, well water, it's, uh, it's amazing how dirty these things get. Now these things are simple to change out. The first step is obviously to turn off the water. There's a, a line that comes into this, this system here. So under my sink I turn off the water. And then you turn off the uh, pressure tank valve. You just turn it 90 degrees till it's off, blocking the water. Then you go to your dispenser and you let some water out and let the pressure off. Then it's just simply a matter of unscrewing these guys. And if they're really stiff, they give you a tool here. And you can hook on here and unscrew these. Then you just unscrew them and take out the old filter. Then you clean out the insides with some soapy water and then plop in your new filters and screw it back together and repeat the process of turning things back on. It doesn't take but five or ten minutes. And here's the second filter here. Um, notice a little bit of sliminess right here. Uh, much cleaner than the other one, but still, that brown water is present here. It's definitely not very good. A little bit past due for a change here. Let's have a look at filter number three. Again, with the sliminess around the top. The filter looks clean actually. And the water is a lot cleaner. I do see some uh, black specks there. Probably some uh, carbon leaking out from the filter. So that's the last one before it goes into the reverse osmosis membrane. Which again isn't due for changing until next year. And turning the water back on. It's a little disconcerting because you hear water trickling and flowing like there's a leak. But it's just the filters uh, filling up, hopefully. But I'm watching closely here. So far so good. Yeah, now that gurgling sound is abating. So let's conclude this uh, highly exciting video with a, uh, a very scientific test. I'm going to test the water coming out of my faucet from the city well, untreated, and uh, test it against the reverse osmosis treated water. So let me fill up a highly scientific beaker here with uh, city water or county water. And I've already got some uh, of the reverse osmosis filtered water in this guy here. So. What I'm using is just this cheap meter that came with the water kit. The water, uh, uh, the whole water system that I bought a few years ago, and it's zeroed out. First, we'll test the county water, and I get a reading of 82. If you can see that, and it's, I guess it's called turbidity. This is just a measurement of how much particulates are in the water, which is indicative of contaminants and pollution and whatever. And now I'm going to rinse this off to be fair. No cross-contamination. And we'll zero it out. 
and try the filter. Then we get a 0, 0, 005, which I would conclude is darn near distilled water. That's pretty good. So there you have it. Uh, I'd recommend changing your filters often. This is just 12 months of family use here. You can see the color of that water belongs in that ditch. And so now we're all we're all changed and we're good. Hope this helps somebody. I hear something alarming, if you can hear me. I was just walking by in this thing after uh, 10 minutes after changing the filters. Maybe five minutes. Bunch of gurgling and bubbling and it was just the air purging through all the once you open the system up the air gets in so I thought I was having leaks everywhere but it was it was nothing to be alarmed of.